about 1998 or thereabout, Willie Walkman, who used to be my PA, came into my office and said, oh, there are these two young boys, they know how to sing. Uh, can you listen to them? I said, fine. I do that all every day. I do that all the time. And then they came in. They sang. And they were good. And I promised I'll do whatever I can to help you guys. Some months down the line, Providence, I was going to run a show for Rotman's. Rotman's Groove, nationwide, 30 shows. At this time, the Remedies had just released their single, their hit single, Shakumo, and they were going to go on this show with Rotman's nationwide, 30 shows in two months. Big opportunity. And then I suddenly remembered, and I sent for those two young men that I had met. It took two days to find them, and no telephone then. And by the time I got them, I took them on, to the audition and the clients were so impressed that they signed them on as the second major act to the remedy so they became headliners too and then they went around the country doing 30 shows the least uh, capacity audience will have must have been about 25 25,000 from Sokoto to Calabar to Mina to Casina to Aba Potako we covered Nigeria comprehensively Ilori, Kanu, Kaduna, we did it all. And this was the first time these guys were earning professional money. They didn't even have a record. They just ripped off a beat from Rakim and then they did all their voices over it on playback. And those are the plantation boys. Austin Amedu, Blackface, Innocent Dibia, Two-Face. And then, when it was time for them to record, they came to me. I took them under my wing after this as uh, quasi or semi-managers or just advisors. I never signed them on a contract, but I did everything for them uh, that I could. And then they brought Chibuzo, who became known as Face. And that was how, by the time the world got to know about Plantation Boys, there were three, as again the two that started. I did my bits, baby. I like, had to I had to babysit them through their recordings and whatever up until they had their first um, release, and they went on to become very, very successful. Mm -hmm. 